Over 20,000 crypto ATMs were installed last year. As of December 30th, there have been 2,759 machines added from December 30th all the way up to the very first day of April. Q1 of 2022 is gone and installations have jumped more than 8% in almost 77 countries. It would be more, but we actually lost a couple on the list, so due to various political reasons. On December 30th, Bitcoin.com reported that there were 33,900 ATMs. Now we're approaching 37,000. There are over 43 crypto ATM producers, most of them coming from General Bytes. That's the one that I've seen the most. Genesis Coin, BitAxis, CoinSource, BitStop, but General Bytes is the one that is very popular. Now, in America, Bitcoin Depot and Bitcoin of America, again, seeing those the most, but there's also CoinCloud, CoinFlip. And with that, we could take a look at crypto ATMs, number not changes, suddenly a huge increase, and this is only going to continue on happening. So, let's take a look at CoinATM Radar, one of my favorite websites, and we can see that there's currently 36,661 crypto atms 76 countries 43 producers so when we take a look at the map we will see that of course america is winning out of all of the countries so oh, it's going to be over here there we go america is 32,448 that are registered that means oh looks like it jumped up 32,620 so these are all registered and with that every single day it updates most likely it updated because it's you know past 2 a.m right now with this that means there's the, probably a couple hundred that are right now non-registered for whatever reasons maybe some will never be registered because they don't want to be there um canada is following shortly at 2439 spain at 225 el salvador no surprise there 204 they've added 200 crypto atms and they want to add a couple thousand. And then Poland actually moved up to fifth position. It beat Switzerland and Hong Kong and Austria. And by quite a lot. Because not too long ago last year, Poland had approximately 80. Now we're at 180. And I'm pretty sure, you know, El Salvador will beat Spain. And possibly Canada. Because Canada has been at 2,200, 2,300 for a long time. So they're moving very slowly. But I think Poland will be number fourth. It'll beat Spain. It'll be in a lot of these other countries. The rates, we have to look at the rate of crypto ATM installations. Now, when you click on, for example, the U.S., you're able to see exactly where the most amount of crypto ATMs are. And we're able to just take a look at which cities have quite a bit. Uh, I was actually surprised that Detroit had over 800 where some of these larger cities don't have too many. Like uh, Harrisburg over here has 179. That's a random city. Uh, Baltimore, 367. No surprise. Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, uh, Los Angeles. Almost 2,000 crypto ATMs. That's one of the largest places of ATMs there is. But it's also a ginormous city. Boston, 547. And some of the larger cities like New York City. There we go. Detroit, 800. They may not have as many as you'd actually expect, and that's due to regulation. So the more amount of regulation a city has or a country, you're not going to see it on there. And same for the list. You should see Germany or some of these other well-developed nations, but unfortunately, like the UK, you, you don't see as many crypto ATMs because some of them have actually started decreasing the amount of crypto ATMs, or they never really allowed it. Because you can't really see Germany on this list. I mean, there we go. 39 locations. They had a lot more. And technically, it is reducing constantly. So Ukraine has more. Hungary has more. Russia has more. Now Ukraine and Russia are kind of in limbo right now. So we don't really know exactly what's going on. But um, there have been a fair amount of new additions. And there's still a lot of countries that, you know, are joining the list. So... With this, if we take a look at the actual amount of ATMs being produced constantly, around 30.6 are being added every single day on average. 
And with this, the amount that it's growing is absolutely ginormous. The reason for that is, despite where Bitcoin's heading the price, we have to think about mass adoption. Suddenly, regulation is actually opening up in a lot of these areas. So as of, let's see, April 1st, there were 624 ATMs that were net changes. Uh, now, before that, in December 1st, 1959, uh, January 1st, 1682, uh, February 1st, 959. So it has been decreasing slightly, but this has been correlated to the price a little bit. Um, also with regulation on a new year and what's been going on with inflation and war and whatnot. But still very, very good numbers. By the end of the year, we should be at a point where we actually will have more crypto ATMs than the price of Bitcoin. As this grows constantly, we will hit 40,000 crypto ATMs really soon, meaning that if Bitcoin does drop, where right now we're at $45,000, if it does drop, we will eventually have more crypto ATMs than the actual price of Bitcoin. And it will continue to grow. So one of these days we'll see 100,000. Because again, the United States is pretty big, but there's bigger countries, and it all depends on regulation. We will see probably China and India, and I know India has some pretty stringent regulations with crypto right now, but in the future, I'm expecting a lot of these countries to have a couple thousand locations. So, that's it for right now. The amount of Bitcoin ATMs is growing steadily every single day. Have a great rest of the day. See ya.